Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day out there, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Not only that, it's a TGIF going into 2014. How's that? Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your heart, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow down one, Nasdaq off 10, S&Ps were flat. Gold contract up a buck 40, traded at 1,213 an ounce. Silver up 12 cents at $20 and four pennies. An ounce platinum up $17 at 1,376 an ounce. Copper flat at 338 a pound. Light sweet crude up 61 cents over 100 bucks again. We're at 100.16. Ten-year bond was flat at 123. Thirty-year bond was down eight ticks at 128.08. King dollar off 158 ticks at 80.49. Euro up 48 at 137, and the yen up 36, trading out at 105.17. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we got a holiday week. You have no volume. We did $30 million. And I don't expect you're going to get any volume till uh, right after the new year, folks. Um, and what we've also done is this. We've finished an ABC structure on the way up on the S&Ps and on the NASDAQ. When you finish an ABC up and or down, you do something other than continue on that pattern on a short-term basis. Um, cash S&P today got to uh, the 1844. We closed at 1841, and uh, the, the highest there was 1842.84. So what I expect, Monday, Tuesday, you get a, still get a sideways movement. We are open two days uh, next week, and you'll have some tax selling, but I don't expect uh, any really large moves until... Uh, more than likely, it won't be the second, which would be, it's going to end up being the fifth. It's going to be the fifth where the acceleration or destruction starts happening again, meaning inside the marketplace. That's when everyone's going to be back to work. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. What we have with the Dow, that was a flat market out here today. Uh, she hit a high out there, 16,525. She's at 16,478 right now. NASDAQ, the composite, uh, composite came down 10 bucks. Uh, she was showing a little weakness, and we'll get into that, what that was all about. Uh, the um, inside the NASDAQ, well, we did have uh, Twitter. You know, it's pretty amazing, folks. Twitter, number one, was all over the press that... And this, this morning, and this is pretty wild. So in the Wall Street Journal this morning, it had articles about people buying Twitter and, you know, doing very well, by the way, okay? Uh, it's up three times, 300% since its IPO. Uh, bottom line, that was this morning in the, I, in, in the Wall Street Journal. And what ends up happening is that uh, the company downgraded it. Not that, you know, that means a lot. But bottom line, it took uh, nine bucks off it. Uh, what Twitter had also done, folks, this is important to understand, it finished an ABC up. If you're watching Tiger TV right now, I'll go, you'll be able to see it. If you're in your car right now, we'll walk you through it. So A to B equals C to D. When, when you have an ABC structure on the way up, all the way down, when they finish, they will either consolidate, pull back, they do something other than continue. And, and one of the main reasons is it takes a huge amount of energy, folks, to do an ABC structure. Because it's two separate straight line moves after one consolidation in the middle. So you go A to B, straight line, a straight, you know, straight line. B to C is the consolidation because it's all over the place. C to D, straight line again. If you take a look at Twitter, what you'll see out here is this. Uh, you'll see that um, uh, your A point is, is 40 bucks. The A point was established December 4th. Uh, your B point is 59.48, which is the 13, so about 20 bucks. Your C point is 54, um, which would give you a 74 A to B equals C to D. Hit it exactly, which is just a mind blower. Um, 74, 74, 74, 73 yesterday. Hits it, guess what? Gives it up. Um, the way Twitter came off that high today, you have two different things happening with Twitter, which is pretty cool now, okay? Is that you have a pullback that's happening. 
And the way this came back today, this can pull back to $57 in a heartbeat, by the way, in a heartbeat. You know, we'll see whether the volume calms down there. But what you're also going to have is you're going to have a nice high volume high. So if you like Twitter, just sit there and wait. Uh, let it pull back as far as it wants to pull back. You need a rejection of price in order to uh, basically get into it. But bottom line is that it does have a high volume high now, which indicates that, yeah, it's going to go back to at least the bottom of that high volume high. And if you do want to see how an ABC structure, when they do finish, uh, another one out here today which finished up was Dry Ships, D-R-Y-S. Dry Ships is only a $5 stock. Uh, bottom line, though, it was a perfect A to B equals C to D, did the deal. Your A point on this goes all the way back to August 19th. That was at 2 bucks. First expand, expansion up goes to four, three ninety nine. It pulls back to two sixty seven. Bottom line, you go, uh, you know, four seventy. Bottom line, hit four seventy five yesterday. It's five dollars today. Pulls back off five dollars. Now this also is going to have a high volume high, and you want to be all over these shippers, folks, on the way back. The shipping. If we go over to Eagle, we take a look at Eagle. What you're going to see, uh, another shipper out here. Now, Eagle used to be one of the strongest ones, and it got smoked. Um, it has started to show strength once again, though. And when I say strength, folks, we're talking about uh, equities that have been in a consolidation for years. You're talking about years. Eagle at one point was $144 stock. These, these things start consolidating back in 08. Okay, so we're, in, we're going to 014. When you see something that that's that long of a consolidation, you're coming off those consolidations, you want to put them on the radar because that's been plenty of time to build a base, to get people out of the stock, to get people into the stock, to build accumulation at lows. That's what you have happening out here. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Gold market. Let's go over to gold. We got gold on a Friday. They couldn't basically take gold apart. Gold closed at 12 13 uh, We have what the, the physical gold market, folks, is this. 1231.60 is the number. Uh, if you're a bull on gold, you want to see it over that number. And then what you want to see is a wide price spread, accelerated volume. I like how the market is trading right now, particularly because if you were in front of a computer this morning at 0630, what you had out there is this, is that you had a large order came, came in that bought the euro, that sold the dollar, and uh, that spike was pretty amazing. Uh, the spike now did not hold. And this would end up happening. The euro folks at 0630 this morning went from a price point of 136 to 138.93. That's a monster move. Um, didn't hold. Uh, you, you know, bottom line, you know, it spiked the last swing point out here. We go over to the dollar index. We take a look at what happened with the dollar, and this is what you had. Dollar index spiked all the way down into the almost the lows of December 18th with dramatically lighter volume. When that was happening, and this is where you could, you know, it was like, uh, it was in, I was in front of the screen at that point, and it's like, hey, the gold market's not moving. That was pure divergence, folks, because with the dollar coming back that quick, gold should have took off. Well, it didn't. And bottom line, what, what was ended up happening there is that as the euro went higher, someone was selling the heck out of it up there. Someone bought the heck out of it to push it up there. Guess what? Someone was on the other side. The sharks are fighting big time. On the dollar, it was just the opposite. The dollar was slamming down. As it was slamming down, guess what? There were many buyers right on the other side of that, and they were piling in. Now, bond market, this is going to get really intriguing. What we had out here again today is this. The bond market hit 3%. The 10-year bond hit 3%. This is the second time it's hit it. And right now, it actually closed right at 3.000, okay? Uh, the last time that we were here, I don't believe we got a close at 3. Uh, if we do go over and look at that bond market, uh, my take on the bonds right now is that um, you're going to see the yield go back down and the price go back up. And, and this is why. If we look at the 10-year first, what, T-Y-H-4. Okay. So if we look at the 10-year, what the 10-year did out here today is that we did 360,000 contracts. And the 10-year, by the way, folks, can likes to push about 1 million to 1.2 million contracts. 
Uh, we closed at 123, and it needs it needs a bump up from 123. But the bottom line, it pushed back into that level with dramatically lighter volume. You stay right there, folks. When we come back. We're going to talk uh, more bonds. We ended out finished flat. Nasdaq was down 10. S&P's were flat. We had gold up a buck and a half. Platinum was up to 1925. King dollar down 143 ticks. We're going to be right back, folks.